Look at that. Beautiful. This is what we all are. Beyond all of our simple problems. Our simple, simple problems that are calm, calm, relax in our minds. I mean, our minds, but above our minds, right above our minds, our minds, our view, our perception, there's the human perception. Right there. Right there. That third eye. Always watching over you. The sun. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that is the Son of God. God is everything else, everything. We're the earth, right? And that's Jesus, the Son is Jesus. Yeah, and uh, everything beyond the Son, so that's the Father. But of course, all of that is part of infinity. I uh, was watching this video earlier that said, don't stare into the sun. Yeah, it was some science video, billions of views. I just had felt compelled to click on it. I don't want to keep looking over there. It must be paranoid or something. Paranoia. Paranoia is the paranoia is the greatest sign of psychic psychic phenomena. You know, I talked about that in my other video. But uh, it's just paranoia. That's all it is. And it's funny, because we all have it to extreme degrees. Yeah, so this science video Billions of views just felt compelled to add to their energy, just you know, because they they put their energy out there. Uh, lots of people consume their energy. They built up their energy, built it up into a fashion where it came across in my feed, my YouTube feed, and so I watched it. And at the very beginning, they said, "Don't stare at the sun." Never look at the sun ever. <laughs> I think I laughed. I think I laughed out loud. Why don't they want you to look at the sun? Why don't they want you to know? I don't think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> well, who knows what I think? Especially not me. It's all just blurts out from the ether, but, ooh, breeze, wind is just other people's thoughts rubbing up against me, wind is the strangest thing. Breeze, air, it's an invisible force. They could literally be monsters that we just can't see, that our eyes just can't pick up. Rubbing up against you, caressing you, just giving you good vibes or bad vibes. I often get bad vibes from wind. I, I like if it's coming from one direction, hitting me straight on. Right? Uh, but uh, if it's coming from all different directions, it's just, oof. I need to work on that. I need to expose myself to air more often. Because these monsters, these invisible monsters that our retinas can't pick up, they're just, it's light we don't see in there. They're within us. It's healing. It's 
damn it, I take a deep breath and I'm completely all right. Uh, it's, it's proven. You cannot have an anxiety attack while breathing deeply. I'm not saying, I mean, it could be possible. I'm just saying that, but it could be possible. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I look at the sun. I, I, I be staring at the sun every night. And I don't in the morning because I'm asleep. Uh, sometimes I do during the day. I can't do it for as long. You know, I have the best periods to sun gaze. Everybody will tell you this, especially if you're first starting. Uh, because don't, you know, they don't, they tell you not to look at the sun. Because if you look at the sun and you've never sun gazed before, you're going to have some damage. Just like if you, I don't really have a, a good example. Uh, and, uh, if you try to operate a car and you've never driven before, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work out. You gotta, you gotta learn. You gotta slowly, you gotta slowly get to that guy. If you try to do a pull up, you never done a pull up. You uh, first gotta hang. You gotta hang. And what I mean by hang is stare at the sun at night, not at night. Towards towards night, closer to night. So that's in the morning, in the evening whatever, and uh, it's easier to do it for prolonged periods of time, prolonged amounts of energy, uh, in the evening, and it just so happens that my life has synchronistically swirled around me in order for me to get this job here, where I don't really do anything, and I can come out and sun gets, isn't that beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Energy from the sun? That's ridiculous. What do you think food is? What do you think you're eating? Where did it get its energy? It got its energy from the sun. Where did the animal, the cheeseburger that you're stuffing in your face, the hot dog? Wink, wink. I, I winked because it's a hot dog place. Uh, but the hot dog that you're eating. Where did it get its energy? It, it got its energy from grass, I think. Probably a mixture of different. It's a, nobody really knows what hot dogs are, so uh, a hamburger would be a better a better example. Uh, hamburger uh, hamburgers usually eat uh, grass and dirt. And where do grass and dirt get its energy from? The sun, grass, gets energy, photosynthesis. So it's just going straight to the source. It's just skipping. So if you, you know, there are people who haven't eaten for a really long time, uh, like 12 years or something, maybe their whole life, 70 years. I heard a case of somebody not eating for 70 years. I'm not gonna try that uh, because I have to have food don't have to have food, but uh, prefer to have food. Uh, so does everyone around me. And that's just how how we function in society. But if you get extra energy, it's a different sort of energy. It's not, it's not food energy because it's not food. It's sun. It's light. Of course, food is light. Is sun. Is an um, extension of the sun, like a fractal a fractal extension. Like, I'm not the universe, I'm an extension of the universe. But of course, I am the universe. So, it's kind of like that. Uh, anyways, stare at the sun, get superpowers, open your third eye, get super strength, uh, increase your intuition, increase your connection to the all, to the rest of humanity, your connection to the rest of
universe, your connection to God. That's your connection to God. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. See, I was thinking. I was, I was pouring uh, water into potatoes. And I was thinking, this is divine. This is mesmerizing. Why, why go to a waterfall 50 miles away and hike up a mountain? And you can just turn on your faucet. It's beautiful. I mean, both are beautiful. Both are absolutely beautiful. Don't forget that, Torrin. Don't forget that.